patron snow is great. What a muscular freak! Never-ending battles, fear in the combatant's eyes, ferocious blood. Meow, meow. Ugh, never mind. Choco Chone? Something good will happen if you meow at a chocobo girl. Really? Behold, the eye has seen the truth. She returns to us bearing the three gems, just as foretold. I was doubtful, but I guess you do have special powers. That spell really works. So why don't you tell me what you really want from me? Very well. The time has come. Listen well, savior. I have seen it. You will hunt monsters, fearsome creatures that plague this land. The Eye has seen you defeat them all, even the ultimate beast. And your all-seeing Eye doesn't lie, right? Because your spell will make it true? It is fate. The Oracle has spoken, and you have no choice but to act. Free our city of the monster menace. obvious what they're up to now, don't you think? They've got a monster infestation and they want someone to clean it up for them. And that would be me. They're nothing more than con artists, manipulating you to do their bidding. What do they hope to gain from killing monsters? Maybe it's just as they say. Get rid of the monsters and the city will be a safer place. You're saying you think this is for the greater good. If you're right, you should help them out. Do what they want. the trendy equipment everyone wants. Come enjoy the healthy fruits of the earth! Customer, this is so exciting. What can I get you? Well, what do you serve? Anything you want. How about the chef special made from top quality recycled materials? Deep fried niblet hairballs. Um, are you sure that's actually edible? Oh, yes, it definitely won't kill you. I can guarantee it. And since you're my first customer in days, no charge. Nothing ventured. That's the spirit. Take the plunge, I say. Well, does it make your taste buds sing? Are you transported to culinary heaven? This is... Too tart? 
Too much salt, perhaps. I can brush it off if you like. No, it's actually really good. God, that is a relief. Uh, I mean, of course it's good. I knew you'd love it. I've been working on the recipe for weeks. Unfortunately, it's not very nutritious. People are more health conscious these days, which is ironic considering the times. Nutritious or not, you'd think that more people would come back for this. I think it must be me. I just don't have a head for business. No matter how hard I work, I just can't seem to attract more customers. I've been living on the brink of financial ruin for years now. My son got sick of it, so he left. You've got the chops to be a good cook, though. Why don't you try to find yourself a partner? You know, someone you trust who has a better head for business. Now that you mention it, I hear there's a famous food expert here in Yusnan. Apparently, he specializes in turning around lost causes like mine. I'll bet... No, I know he could help me. But how do I find him? All I know is his name. And what is it? Gordon Gourmet. Despite his fame, he's hard to track down. If you do happen to run into him, could you tell him about CDs? Gordon Gourmet. I'll remember it. You are far too kind. Thank you so much. I hope you find him soon. He's only the most famous. This is the Glutton's Quarter. A paradise for gourmands that serve up dishes from every culture. If the world's ending anyway, I suppose you might as well enjoy your last meal. You provide relaxation and delight. Don't you want to play with a chocobo, girl? Choco chocobo, it's time to tell! What are the magic words? Meow meow choco chow. Adorable. Here, this is for you. You managed to get the fireworks light. It was quite the achievement. What? Is something amusing you? Come on, step right up. Every one of our fish is fresh caught and delicious. Shop owner. They said this place would be opening soon. This isn't soon. Never-ending battles. What a muscular frame. Soldiers in the Patriots are trained here. There's a shady organization behind us. Show me a display of honor! Is that you? It is, isn't it? You're the Knight of Light. Perhaps you could help me where others could not. That depends on what you want me to do. So who are you? Perhaps you have heard of me and my work. I am the man who uses forbidden alchemy to create the ensorcelled machine. Alchemists investigate the very essence of souls and life, the original natural philosophers. Alchemy is an ancient discipline with many rules and laws. And it pains me to confess I broke one of the most sacrosanct taboos of all. Look, if it's forgiveness you're after, why don't you talk to the priests? I seek redemption, but no priest can provide it. Behold, the fruits of my crime, the sorcery machine that I created. That's your doing? That thing powered by chaos? I had a feeling you'd understand. You could see its essence, can't you? Please, 
Help me. Help us all. You have to destroy that thing. Already countless brave warriors have lost their lives at its hands. are not gonna end until someone stops that thing. And it looks like that someone has to be me. Thank you. You're my last hope. Although I built the accursed thing, I am powerless to stop it. It's grown far stronger than I ever imagined it would. With each victory, it consumes the soul of its victim, and thus it grows more powerful.
think you can be forgiven? How can I ever thank you enough? The machine has been defeated, and at last his soul can rest in peace. You have saved him. You talk about that machine as if it was a living thing. Do you think machines have souls? No, of course not. But that one, it was special. It was not like any other machine in the world. The truth is, my brother's soul was inside it. Your brother? It was my doing. Alchemy was the key. It was forbidden magic. I knew that, but I yearned to try it. I took the soul of my living brother and placed it inside the machine. That's madness. Why would you do something like that? When people stopped dying of old age, I lost sense of the true value of life. When I carried out that experiment, it wasn't just my brother who died. Now that my brother's soul has been released at last, there's only one thing left for me. I must pay the ultimate price. You want to believe that dying will absolve you, but you know that's not true. It's the coward's way out, that's all. If you really care about redemption, then you have no choice but to keep on living. You have to regret what you did for the rest of your life, until the end comes. And if I do that, if I live for eternity, suffering the guilt of my crime, will I find forgiveness in the end? Will the guilt ever be lifted? I wish I could promise it will. But either way, you owe it to yourself and the men who died, whether or not it brings forgiveness. to take good care of you here. We'll be waiting. Damn it. I can cut fortify... Did you really sell poison to that man? Of course not. It was a fortifying brew with centuries of alchemic theory behind it. I assure you it should be highly efficacious for most users. Sadly, it appeared to disagree with that gentleman's liver. Or perhaps spleen. You're an alchemist, right? Don't you people claim to be able to turn lead into gold or something? I don't think I buy it. <sighs> that is an unfortunate stereotype, all too common. Alchemists are natural philosophers dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of our physical and spiritual worlds. The search for ultimate truth is the core of our ancient art. The transmutation of base metals into gold, that is a mere byproduct of our inquiries. Mysteries of the physical and spiritual worlds? The ultimate truth? Sounds ambitious. It is. We perform experiments, observe phenomena, and analyze ancient records. Then we carefully record the results for future generations. It is painstaking work. Unfortunately, it is also capital intensive. The experiments I perform are very expensive. Right. That explains the snake oil racket you have going on here. This location certainly has proven beneficial to my research. Bounty hunters congregate in the area, and as you no doubt know, theirs is a dangerous profession. They are desperate for anything that might give them an edge, and that includes untested potions. Untested? Does that mean you're using those poor dupes as test subjects for your latest concoctions? Mm. They all sign the waivers. Perhaps you'd care to join my project. Ooh, you'd make a fine test subject. I have made a new secret potion that needs testing, but all of my regulars have refused to volunteer. You see, I've tried mixing two kinds of highly potent poisons. My theory is two wrongs will make a right, and the blend will have a beneficial effect.
All right, I'm game. What are you expected to do exactly? It will lift your spirits, invigorate your soul, and protect you from hexes and ailments. If you are the kind of person who participates in slaughterhouse tournaments, then this potion will be perfect. So I'm supposed to drink it during a battle? Yes, that would be the perfect time. And afterwards, don't forget to come back and tell me how wonderful it is. Please note that my potions are provided without warranty. Side effects may include dementia, gangrene, sudden death, and hair loss. Good luck. Welcome. We have rooms available. wishes in the mouths of the dead. That's pretty low. Huh? You can't say what Sarah would want, even if she weren't dead. Yet you go making up handy lies. She would have wanted you to do this. No, she wouldn't want you to do that. That's just plain dishonest. You want me to apologize? Are you saying Sarah wouldn't have wanted me to save Snow from that... from that hell? You told me to do it in the first place. Sorry, but I'm special, you see? The rules don't apply to me. Anyway, Sarah's not even dead. And I'm not talking about any of that sweet, oh, she's still alive in everyone's heart, garbage. You know? I don't need you to tell me that. I know she's not gone. I know her soul is here with us. I can feel her presence even now. Isn't that just what you want to believe? How do you know you're not just too scared to face the truth, clinging to some false idea of hope? You know, you're a lot weaker than I thought you were. Sis.
You that rules over all life. Nice work, Light. <laughs> 